Incoming balloons. <laughs> you cannot take a picture about this. You don't know about this. Yeah? Sure. We're with Oliver Voskan. Oliver has contacted the BBC to get Zeitgeist, the movie, aired, but nobody seems interested. But we've come here today to have a ch chat with Oliver and his friends to see why they've come to do this demonstration. Hi Oliver. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah, basically um, we, were, we were upset that none of the mainstream channels would even consider showing this or any part of it. So we made a big effort to contact the BBC because within the UK they are really the number one institution and nobody's even replied to any of our emails, our phone calls. We've had numerous people that have emailed and called and nobody's even replied. So we thought, hey, why not on Z-Day come outside and just show everyone what it's all about? <laughs> How far back is it that you actually contacted the BBC and was, how many times? It was around about a month ago we first actually made contact to them. Um, I called up three or f sorry, four days following, no response from either of those. Seb sent out an email to every email address we could get hold of for the BBC and then we've had numerous different people, lots of which are standing here today that have all had their own individual efforts yeah. and as far as I'm aware nobody's had even a single response. Why do you feel so passionate about Zeitgeist, the I movie? The thing about Zeitgeist the movie is that it's not any one concept that it pushes on you, it just it, it encourages people to open up their minds and to question stuff, which I think is so important in today's world where so many people from so many angles are told what to believe, how they should live their lives. I think it's just a great way for people to open up and start questioning things and start creating their own world view. Which part of Zeitgeist affected you the most? Which do you think struck a chord? I'd say initially it would be the very first part where it talks about religion and the solar deities and how they've been personified through different religions. And the, what I like about that message is it doesn't discredit religion by any means. People, well, blues. <laughs> People are still free to believe whatever they wish. Yeah. It just puts truth and accuracy where it should be so that people aren't misled by these organisations. If you wanted to spread the message more about Zeitgeist, how would you go about it? And if you did that, what would you do? Uh, at the moment, we're just trying to, on a personal level, speak to everybody we know, get them to a point of understanding that we feel that we're at, and then encourage them to tell people that are close to them. And hopefully from a grassroots level, it will kind of spread across. And, and we're already seeing it happen. I remember a year ago being aware of Zeitgeist Day. I didn't know where anyone was going to. I was just sitting there on my own in my living room thinking, hey, it's Zeitgeist Day and here I am on my own, no balloons or anything. And 12 months later, look at all these people around and everyone we're contacting is like, hey, what's this about? And we're, word's getting out there. It's amazing. It's so exciting. I, I bet you're very pleased with the turnout yeah, so far. Awesome. There's still it was people just turning a, Just up. an idea we had randomly only a couple of weeks ago go and everybody that's heard about it that we've managed to get word to has pretty much come along so it's, it's amazing that's great stuff have you seen the other movie as well like guys agenda I have yeah it's fantastic I think the first one if if taken in the wrong way can leave people a little bit worried like oh my god there's all this going on what can we do and I feel like the second one in perfect timing came along and presented the answer to people that hey there's nothing to worry about it's not them you need to focus on it's yourself if you change and you encourage others to change then the whole world will change there's no battle that needs to be fought it's on a personal level that people need to change I feel if you have a message for people and you wanted to spread something very positive connected with Zeitgeist what would your message be I'd say that unlike any other establishment that tries to push its views on people, the whole Zeitgeist movement doesn't try and push any views on anyone. It just encourages people to go and find stuff that suits their lifestyles and to build their own view on life, which I feel is one of the most important messages that in this day we could receive. Now, Peter Joseph, uh, the chap who's made Zeitgeist and Zeitgeist Adentums, he's had a lot of negative criticism as well, even though the people call his stuff conspiracy stuff. Do you think that's fair? I think it's, it's not fair, however it's very painful for people when they find out that stuff they've believed their whole lives isn't true. They try and hold on to that and the easiest way to battle that is to tell the person that told you it, hey you're, you're a liar, it's all conspiracy theories, you're a wacko. Um, and I, I really feel that's where that kind of reaction has come from, people's hurt at losing this information, these truths that they thought were true and they've held on to all their lives. So do you think you'll be setting any more, well I don't know if this is a demonstration, but more of a gathering I think, yeah, are you I, planning I, any more? 
Um, we were kind of thinking maybe make it a monthly thing, why not? And it's, yeah, we, we didn't really want to call it a demonstration or a protest, which is why we've chosen balloons. We, we more so wanted to call it a gathering of like-minded, fun people. Hey, we found out this awesome way of living, come and join us, rather than, hey, da da da, shaking banners around. And exactly. we thought the peaceful approach would attract people rather than repel them. On that note, have you heard of the reality group who do come together and discuss In the last couple like of days this? I have and I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm hoping to make the next one which is in April the 5th, is that right? It's the first Sunday of every month first at Sunday Hamilton Hall, I'm gonna Liverpool Street Do my best Station. to make it there, yeah. Excellent. I'm so excited to find out that, hey, there are more people like us out there and we can meet up and we can exchange ideas and see how we want to take this movement forwards. Do you think the best way to do this is to do it in a peaceful manner? Definitely. Because people don't want to create problems, do they? No, I think any kind of negativity attached to any movement straight away puts people off. That's why when we've been in the street and we've had people from religious organisations try and push pamphlets in your book or try and tell you how to live your life, nobody wants to hear it. Everyone's like, whoa, leave me alone. Whereas if you look like you're having fun and it's all peaceful, everyone's like, hey, these guys must be doing something, right? Why don't we go and join them? And that's well, we can see we that by the balloons yeah. that you've made of. I think that's fantastic. Well, thank you, Oliver, so much for your no time. Any, any last thoughts? Um, no, well, I, I guess all I want to say is just to reiterate my point from earlier that within this whole movement, like it says in the addendum, there's no gurus, there's, there's nobody that leads this. It is a very much an individual thing. And I encourage anyone out there just to kind of open up their eyes and start questioning a few things and see what you find when you go on this little path along. Thank you so No much. worries, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>